Hi, hello, Karim here. Um, I would like to demonstrate a wonderful and useful app called Riddle Dogs for iPhone and iPad. Basically, this app can be used as a file management, um, meaning that we can use Riddle Docs to organize documents on our iPad or iPhone. We can organize all documents, whether it's PDF, PowerPoint, Word file, image, or even video, into folders, just like we do in our on our desktop or laptop computer. So this will will make it easy for us to manage the files and make it more efficient. So um, let me demonstrate how to use this app. So this little docs. I will launch this and you can see on my iPad here I have my uh, folders uh, many folders here and down here I have some files PDF file which I have not uh, classified or put into uh, folders but I can do that when I have time so basically you can see uh, I have many folders here so to create a new folder very easy we can go to um, here on the top hand on the top right hand corner right hand right hand corner here so you can uh, click or touch or create folder and give a folder name and then click done I will click cancel for a moment and um, if you look at some of my folder here for example let's see uh, I, I kept module here so there are 40 items on this in this folder so if I click this open and uh, I have mostly in the PDF file but I have also a PowerPoint file there and um, once we have this uh, file on this in this folder you can do a few things for example again um, if I click here or touch the menu here can sort the file by name, by type, by day, or by size, and you can create folder or even create a new text file. Um, if you click edit, okay, then you get uh, various other editings and uh, file management features that you have. For example, I can uh, click a few file here, and if I want to move the file, I can click move, and it will open up list of folders that, that we have created on, on this uh, riddle doc and we can just touch on um, any folder here to move the file cancel for a moment and we can also copy the file you can delete you can mail or you can even uh, zip the file or the whole folder and uh, so let's say I just uh, choose this file and you can see at the end of this file I have one I have the arrow here if I click the arrow I can I get some information about the file the size of the file type of the file and a few other things we can open this file in other um, application you can rename the file you can move the file to other folders you can copy delete mail and zip the file so these are the very useful uh, features in reader docs which we can use to manage and organize the files on our ipad um, now let me show you how to bring in the file into reader docs there are a few ways of doing this um, for example if you have a file say in a email for example in my uh, email here I have one attachment in this case I have a word file so all I need to do is just to press on the file and in this case the default is open you, know, you can have a quick look and uh, open in pages and in this case the, the default to open the word document is uh, an app called pages but uh, if you want to open little docs you just uh, press on the open in and you can find little docs in the list and just press little docs and it will open 
uh, well, you just say file was saved as the name of the file reference.doc in documents folder. So uh, you go back to documents and we just find the file just now. Re Where is it? Um, should be yeah here yeah, on the top because we yeah this is the one and we can open up this file okay yep all right um if i open uh, say any you can see um i have this folder teaching assessment you can see i have 31 items there if i open this and you can see there are many files there let's just, let's just say I'll open i open one um, documents here so this is a pdf file i can use uh, reader docs also to do some editing for example uh, if i this one uh, click this one it just uh, tell us what you can do for example we can annotate and copy text in the pdf file we can add notes can uh, a few some editing uh, do some editing here so for example if you highlight this you can see uh, there are additional items or menu we have here we can uh, add notes we can highlight we can uh, underline let's say uh, yeah we can strike out so these are these are a few things uh, editing tools we can editing tools we have um, uh, in the reader docs but the main function of reader docs is not so much for editing the file but for, to manage and organize the file into folders uh, next, I want to show you how we can bring in the file into Reader Docs. I think I've shown you just now. Uh, one is from the email, and another one is from um, uh, the cloud storage. Nowadays, uh, we have so uh, we have uh, different types of uh, different types of cloud storage. The, my, why my favorite is actually Dropbox. This is my uh, my Dropbox. Um, you can see the name of my Dropbox is um, my my email. So you can see my Dropbox. I have uh, a lot of file, okay, which I can access not only on this iPad but on my laptop or my computer in the office, where I have my Dropbox installed. So if I want to bring in this file from my Dropbox storage into Little Docs. So I can simply do that. Uh, let's say I open this folder, okay, and let's say I want to this file. Okay, you can see now the file is downloading from Dropbox into Reader Docs, okay, and I can browse the file. Okay, so this is the one. All right. Um, that's how we can uh, bring in the file into Reader Docs. So um, that's very briefly how um, we can use the app called Reader Docs, uh, which is to me very very useful. I've been using it, I've been using it for uh, some time to manage and organize my files on this iPad. Thank you for listening and watching.